My name is Hussein John Muhammad, and I was lucky and blessed to be the first ever artist in residence here at Doris McCarthy's Fool's Paradise. I would consider myself a choral artist. I work in the medium of layered voices and sounds. I compose choral music, I sing professionally as a chorister in the Elmer Eisler Singers as their choral scholar under the James T. Chestnut Mentorship Fund. I also sing in church choirs uh, around the city and I facilitate music workshops for young people and communities around diversity, multiculturalism and finding one voice. What I noticed when I first came and felt was a grounding spiritual energy, if I could call it that, in the space. And a very warm, inviting, enveloping, hugging feeling. It was strange for me because I come from a big city where there's a lot of activity and I came to somewhere that was very silent. And it caused me to find my own silence, which was actually quite scary for about three or four weeks because I'm quite an extrovert and get my energy from the outside world, including my compositional inspiration from the sounds that I hear. And I came here and it was winter. And all I heard was quiet and silence. And over the weeks that I was here, I realized how beautiful and comforting that is. And I got more and more used to it. There was one afternoon or morning that I spent five hours in the chair just watching the sun move the whole morning. And that created an impact in, internally that became inspiration for composition. So I would sit at the piano and respond to the sun. It was really easy for me to say, let's write a piece to represent the sunrise. But there's this idea that uh, visual art may be able to imitate nature, but music doesn't imitate nature. Music expresses nature. And so I, I started thinking and, and bringing that feeling into my uh, composition. And so I would sit in front of the sunrise with my hands on the piano and just let whatever feeling I had come out into the keyboard, so to speak. And so that was how my compositional process changed. I guess that's how I've changed in a sense, is that everything I thought about art and about nature and about life became embodied while I was here. Yeah.